If you don't separate yourself from your distractions, your distractions will separate you from your goals. That's our topic of the day, family. So let's get right into it, man. One of the most important reasons I think that we get distracted and we fall short of our goals is easily by just doing the wrong thing, man. It's, it's so easy to do the wrong thing, but yet it's so hard to just stay consistent. Like, that's one of the hardest thing to do in the world is stay consistent but it's easy to make the wrong thing like it's easy to make the wrong choice it's easy just think about that you can easily go to the store see an opportunity to steal something and steal it that's easy but you know it's the wrong thing to do so it takes a real disciplined person to still see that opportunity present it and do the right thing so that's basically what our topic is about as well so Remember, man, for one thing, I would say set clear, specific goals. That helps you limit your distractions. That helps you keep your distractions away from you achieving your goal. So just remember that. All right, man. So some of the things I think is when you break your goals into smaller, actionable steps or tasks, or achievements, milestones, however you want to say it, it give you direction and they make it easier for you on you. So when it makes it easier on you, it just makes it easier for you to achieve a small goal, to climb a step. When you prioritize these tasks based on like which one is more important to you, man, it can also be powerful. So these are great things, like very great things to do. And I just feel like if we handle our fucking goals come up with a dang gone plan and we say man this the time we'll achieve it another one using our time wisely man think about how much time we blow a day doing something that's not productive whether it's social media whether it's just on your phone whether it's just laying around whether it's just doing nothing gossiping like how much time do you use a day that's actually productive? So if we can control our time and use our time more wisely, we can actually get better results in our life. So think about that, man. Use your time more wisely and watch results. Watch the results that you get in your life. They probably be way better just by you using your time wisely. That leads me into the next one. And let me... The way you use your technology. Let's limit that. I know I've talked about this so much, but man, it just fits this topic, man. If you don't separate yourself from your distractions, your distractions will separate you from your goals. That phone can separate you from your goals. Imagine if you in the class. You got an exam due at 12 o'clock, but you can't get off your phone. You can't focus to do your exam, which therefore you got a zero or you got a failing grade, and that didn't help you graduate. All because of that phone is not going over. So we got to think about that sometimes, man. When you're doing something important, man, turn off your notifications. I do it all the time. Silent mode. Do not disturb. People may think you have to find it, but, man, you're trying to be locked in. If they really ill for you, they don't understand. You're trying to be locked in. You ain't got time to keep going back and forth in the group chat. You ain't got time to go back and forth with the young lady. You ain't got time to go back and forth with the young man. To my women who watch them. You gotta just get it. You gotta get it. All right, another one is setting boundaries. So, I know you're wondering, like, man, how? Like, how is setting boundaries related to distractions? It's simple. If you don't set boundaries with people, guess what? They will distract you. It's just like we were just talking about the technology distractions. People will distract you as well, intentionally. Hey, man, I'm about to hit the gym today. Hey, man, you trying to go to the club? Bro, you just heard me say I'm about to hit the gym. Hey, man, I'm not going in right now. I'm trying to, you feel me, spend some time with my girl. Hey, man, there's a pool party going on. Bro, you ain't just hit me something I'm trying to spend time with my girl. So, man, set those boundaries, man, and tell them, like, hey, when you say something, when you got a plan, let you achieve your plan to help you or help you achieve that plan. Don't try to get you away from what you just said you're going to do. It's not right. Another one. Developing routines, staying consistent. This is so vital. 
Developing a routine, staying consistent is so vital. If you're not trying to get distracted so much that it separates you from your goal, it's essential that you develop a routine and stay consistent. It's essential. When you establish those daily routines, you create structure in your life and day by day, which is important because you only can move day by day. So you create structure in your life that's very powerful. That means you has you have a purpose. Like every day you wake up, you have a purpose. Man, that is so powerful, man. It can reduce you from having that fatigue as well. And people didn't even know that. Like you can keep your momentum going in life just on that steady track because your whole life is consistent. It's not a roller coaster, so it, that's pretty sweet, man. And so just remember that. Another one. Mindfulness and self awareness. How many people you know make excuses about everything, can't never just take accountability and say, okay, I messed up, man, let me do better. Like me as a human being, there's no room for excuses. Let me do better. So when you practice that and you just hold yourself accountable, man, it helps you refocus your mind, make you want to start, like just start locking in. It just helps you refocus that mind. So keep that in mind when we're doing those things, okay? Another one, man. Sometimes take a break. Take a break. Take a break. Go rest. Sometimes these are things that we need to do as people. Take a break or, take a break or go rest. Like, we need to do these as people sometimes. So it's overstand, understanding. Like me, man, I work a lot. I'm grinding always, man. I'm always grinding between being a dad, working shooting business like i got so many avenues working out like i got so many avenues that man every day i don't have time to relax so when i do get a chance to do nothing i tell you man that's like one of the best feelings ever like that's gonna happen for me i think sunday coming up i'm about to just do nothing that's about to be real fun man doing nothing man i'm, I'm always always looking forward to those days because man you overwork man you can burn out and you can burn out pretty fast man so make sure you take advantage and take regular breaks if you can those are essential to growing just taking regular break and rest another one is man you gotta adapt man you got to be able to adapt in society that's one thing if you can't adapt to society man you're gonna get lost in the sauce quick lost in the sauce quick gotta be able to adapt to society man like, if you can't do that, man, if you can't just sometimes reflect on your progress and say, man, I came from here, now I'm here. If you can't do that sometimes, man, I don't understand how you're going to stay focused, man. Like I said, it's hard to stay consistent. It's easy to do the wrong thing. But if you don't separate yourself from distractions, distractions will separate you from your goals. So we got to remember all of these things because they all are vital. Like, I'm pretty sure the first time you went to the store, right? Y'all went to the store for batteries. While you there, you see a battery charger. You don't need a battery charger though. Only the reason you came there was for those batteries. So now, you see a thing of candy. Now, you see a new PlayStation. So what you simply came to the store for, is gone. You let your distractions take you away from your goals just that quick, in that manner. You let your distractions separate you from your goals just like that in that manner so we got to think about these things man and just ask ourselves is it important is it worth it sometimes these things are not worth it so just ask yourself that man like are you willing to lose it all for this are you willing to lose it all for this some of us really not ready for that man so like i said that's our topic for the day, man. And it's crazy that we have to talk about it today, but look, man, if I don't do it, 
somebody else is going to do it. And I can't let them do it, so I might as well do it. Like I said, if you don't separate yourself from distractions, your distractions will separate you from your goal. Hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Like this video. Subscribe, man. We almost at 400. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 400. Let's go, man. Daughter family, I'm out.